This week on The Aviators, Curtis explores the biggest single-engine biplane in the world, the Antonov AN2. I look at how pilots are using the iPad in the cockpit. And the Devil Dog Squadron of the Commemorative Air Force shows us their B-25 bomber. The Marines learned to skip bomb, and they would come 20 feet off the water right at those ships. The Aviators is made possible by... Xeon's PCAS XRX, the first ever portable collision avoidance system with direction. The XRX shows traffic information on its screen or on a wide variety of compatible GPS displays. For more information, contact Xeon Flight Systems. Its lines are as sleek and sexy as an Italian sports car. It's been hewn from aerospace-grade aluminum. It contains the latest technological advances in its industry. This may sound like the latest in light sport or private aircraft, but no. This magical device is the Apple iPad 2. And you can use it to surf the internet, write emails, and watch movies and TV. Now, obviously, this is all very good, but none of those things have anything to do with aviation. So how useful is the iPad to an aviator or an aviation enthusiast? Well, you can use it to surf your favorite aviation websites, write emails to your friends about when you're going flying, and watch your favorite aviation TV show. So the iPad is very useful and you can do aviation related things with it. But can you use it in the cockpit? In a word, yes. Much like the rest of the world, aviators have been quick to embrace the iPad. Since its launch, there have been a myriad of apps made available that either complement or in some cases completely replace traditional pilot tools. Right, so here you have some of the tools and reference material that a pilot might traditionally have in their flight bag. You've got your pilot's operating handbook, your aircraft journey log, an airport directory, checklists, IFR approach plates, an assortment of aeronautical charts, a moving map GPS, your computer for pre-flight planning, and a crossword puzzle to keep your passengers entertained on long flights. Now, if you were to weigh all this, it would total several pounds. But the iPad, on the other hand, comes in at a whopping 1.3 pounds. And with the appropriate apps, it can do essentially the same thing as all of this stuff, including the crossword puzzles. So the weight savings alone could be considered revolutionary. But the question begs to be asked, does it actually work in the cockpit? Essentially, yes. As you can see, we've chosen to mount our iPad on the yoke, but you can also mount it on the glare shield or on your kneeboard. There are tons and tons of applications for the iPad for aviation. There's Log 10 Pro, for example, which is a flight log, and you can keep track of all your flights. There's also one of my favorite, For Flight HD. This is good for pre-flight planning, filing your flight plan, watching your flight en route, checking the weather, and planning your arrivals because it does have approach plates. And switching between applications is really easy. 